So orchids require uh, a lot of warm temperatures to grow, especially initially. And so when temperatures are required, especially in the Midwest where we're growing these just at ice orchids, uh, that involves a lot of cost. So we were formerly users of quite a bit of natural gas to keep these orchids warm. Just recently we switched over to a an completely environmentally sustainable method of heating our greenhouses and that is with wood chips. So we use wood chips that are created from uh, broken pallets, refuse wood when there's a storm in your area and those trees need to be taken down. All those trees are chipped up and taken to uh, yards and then they're shipped to our greenhouse uh, to keep all the greenhouses warm. Uh, they go through a process so those wood chips are fed into uh, boilers that are from Europe where sustainability standards are much greater than they are in the U.S. and used to heat uh, each of our greenhouses throughout the winter and even in the cool nights uh, in the spring and in the summer and in the early fall. So the, the whole process where the wood is, is burned in the, in the boilers, uh, actually every piece of the puzzle is, is used in the sustainability process. And in fact, all the way to the ash that is produced from burning this wood is reused by local farmers uh, to spread over their crops. So in addition to the wood boiler, that's actually just one of the sustainable initiatives that we've taken serious here at Green Circle. Uh, we actually have about seven retention ponds all the way around the facility. Now, when every time it rains, the greenhouse, all 100 acres of greenhouse, acts as a collection point for that rainwater. So every inch of rain that we get here at the greenhouse, about one and a half million gallons of water is conserved and sent to those retention ponds to be used again and again in our watering process. In addition to that, we uh, have a, a commitment towards using a process that's called integrated pest management to manage the insect uh, that, that grow and might, might appear in our plants. And integrated pest management, very simply, is using bugs to kill other bugs. And so we spread the eggs of certain bugs that are predatory bugs, and they take care of the, the pests, and when their food source is finished, they die also. So again, it's a very clean, very uh, insecticide-free way uh, of caring for our plants and making sure that our customers get plants that are free of bugs and, and, and lush and, and ready to flourish in their garden.